you can trust me it is an eye opener this whole thing is cdm vt cg nobody would have ever heard up to cdm vt yes we were taught for generations we have been taught the cg was little modification by me okay that's why you won't hear any from anybody in aviation hello ladies and gentlemen your captain speaking from flight deck my name is captain surender singh welcome aboard the plane talking sit back relax and enjoy your journey perspective projection pure projection and mathematically when it is constructed it is non perspective projection correct and then we saw how you place the sheet either you have a cylindrical projection conical projection and zenithal projection and last class we saw cylindrical projection when you place a cylinder around the earth at equator what kind of projection it comes but we saw there was a problem that the scale was expanding in north south direction and we cannot use it for navigation so in this class we will see how and what modifications we carry out in simple projection so that we can use it for navigation so convergence on this projection is zero now what is this convergence earlier we have studied or those who have not studied we will see convergence now what is this convergence is so convergence is inclination between two meridians at a given latitude okay you have meridians they are converging okay meridians are this line joining north pole and south pole if you look at these lines anybody's got neater globe which i can spoil that's how these meridians are correct those who are not studied don't worry So, if you look at these meridians, how these meridians are at equator, they are parallel, correct? And you look here, whatever the difference in longitude, that is the angle between them. For example, let's say this is a prime meridian, correct? And this is ninety degree east meridian. What about equator? They are parallel. Look here, how much is the angle? Ninety degree. Okay. let's say this is prime meridian and this is 180 degree meridian at equator they are parallel how much is the angle between them 180 degree so this angle between two meridian is maximum at pole which is equal to d log just imagine i have a meridian 10 degree 20 degree at equator they are parallel this angle is 10 degree so whatever the difference in longitude that is angle at pole but what about equator they are zero the angle between them is zero so when you say convergence is inclination between two meridians at a given latitude okay so this is convergence angle between two meridian at given latitude okay at equator all meridians are parallel angle between them is zero you go to pole look at those meridian let's say this is zero degree and this is 45 degree this angle will be how much 45 degree you get it okay so it's very simple here this convergence is equal to d long which is maximum and here it is zero all meridians are parallel look at globe some meridian all are parallel so this convergence a quantity which is maximum at 90 degree And zero at zero degree is function of sine theta. So that's what this angle between two meridian at a given latitude, what we call it convergence, is equal to maximum is difference in longitude. Okay, and as you come from pole to equator, what is happening? Is coming zero. So it is function of that is convergence. but the world which you have written is not convergence the world which you have written is convergence so now what is convergence 
convergence is inclination between two meridian at a given latitude convergence inclination between two meridian at a given latitude what is the difference okay what is the difference any guess on the projection you wrote convergence is zero ground pe to meridian all are converging so convergence is on the earth surface what actually it is the convergence when you draw when you draw this latitude and longitude or these graticules convergence is any guess v very good on the chart or projection or on the map that is the difference so the problem is that there is a round thing where the convergence is shown in a certain manner you are trying to project on a surface which is cylinder because of that you saw all the meridians are parallel okay so what is shown on the map is zero so when you refer to a chart or a map it is referred as convergence and when it is talk about actual on the earth it is convergence which is same it is convergence is difference in longitude into sine of latitude or sine of mean latitude again when we study that time we see what is this convergence but this is just an introduction what is there on the globe and what you see clear on this so convergence on this projection is zero actually speaking just to tell you this will be probably eye opener for anybody in the aviation i trust you or oh, sorry you can trust me it is an eye opener this whole thing is C D M V T C G. Nobody would have ever heard. Up to C D M V T, yes, we were taught for generations. We have been taught the C G was little modification by me. Okay, that's why you won't hear any from anybody in aviation. Now there's something is was called and it was taught earlier. Was C stands for the convergence which you have written just now. and this you know uh, compass north magnetic north true north this g is something called as grid north which we don't study okay the sailors which you they study and they do pass their navigation they still study this it's not taught by anybody okay it is actually convergence east true east convergence west true west oh, sorry true west that's how it was in fact there is a again which people don't study don't teach there is something called the difference between grid north and magnetic north a term called gravitation it is a combination of or rather it is a difference between magnetic north and grid north okay so that's what earlier or other gravitation east magnetic least gravitation west magnetic west but unfortunately or fortunately our whole navigation finishes here only okay so that's what when you talk about a professional knowledge it is a complete knowledge not just remembering formulas or learning some tricks okay trust me now nobody teaches till 2000 Seven. I used to teach ATPL. They used to ask. Okay, in many paper like sailors, you have seen those merchant navy and those they pass the paper. They still study even today. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, logic remains same. Only what is up to CDMBT we studied. Okay, so the convergence on this projection is zero. It is not an orthomorphic projection. So now I have introduced. a new term called orthomorphism now what is this orthomorphism okay to know it is not, it's good to know that it is not an orthomorphic projection but is what is orthomorphic projection any guess anybody nobody okay so orthomorphic projection is a projection in which bearings or directions are 
correctly shown okay so i repeat orthomorphic projection is a projection in which bearings or directions are correctly shown now on this chart cylindrical which we have seen the directions are not correctly shown why let's see how okay and that's why it is not an orthomorphic projection logic is see here what you have drawn is this was earth which you are getting a projection okay earth and you are trying to get a projection something like this and you got the projection pure cylindrical projection above the equator if I am drawing 10 degree north 20 degree north and 30 degree north and so on ok so you can see the scale is expanding in north south direction so let us say on the earth surface if it was a scale you are going like this that is how this equal distance is there if I draw if I am going from here to here what direction you are flying 0 4 5 north east direction this is east this is north so if I am flying like this let us say equal distance is there I draw equal distance on the earth surface this is 0 4 5 this is 0 4 5 this is 0 4 5 now look here when the projection comes how the 0 this is here is correct 0 4 5 now look here what is happening to this direction this is reducing so if you are going from here to here, on earth which direction you have to fly 0 4 5 0 4 5 0 4 5 correct but look at the projection here it is 0 4 5 lesser 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 further lesser ok so the direction is not correctly shown ok now for a projection to be orthomorphic or for the direction to be correctly shown there are two properties which any projection should have ok one projection one of that property is that meridians and parallel of latitude must cut each other at 90 degree they call it pro properties but it is a very simple logic ok how the directions are they start from 000 090 180 270 correct how much is the difference 90 degree ok so it is logically if you want to see the difference between north and east how much it should be 90 degree ok so it is 90 degree so let us say if I draw a projection in which meridians are shown like this and parallel of latitude the total directions are 360 degree but the directions are not correctly shown ok the total is yes 360 degrees starting from north let us say this is east this is south and this is west how much is this angle is less than 90 degree but is it not less than 90 degree so if you draw a projection where it is not cutting at 90 degree your direction will never be correctly shown look at this projection is this problem no all are cutting at 90 degree if you look at this meridians are parallel so that is not the problem so there must be some other problem the second requirement for a projection to be an orthomorphic the scale must be correct in all the direction around a point or in the vicinity of point the scale must be correct that is the problem here the problem here is that 100 nautical mile is shown by this much chart length here what happened to this 100 nautical mile now it is gone here now this 100 nautical mile is here, 100 nautical mile is here this is the problem now imagine you have created a chart in this part if you go east west this is 100 nautical mile if you go this way the chart length is more so that is why you will see your directions are not correctly shown this is the problem with this chart so that is why it is not an orthomorphic projection have you understood the understanding of orthomorphism is clear the direction should be correctly shown 
for that the two properties must be met or the two criteria must be met meridians and parallel of latitude must cut each other at 90 degree okay working the scale must be constant or equal within vicinity of a point that is the problem with this chart because in east west your scale is this north south it is different clear on this an orthomorphic projection because the scale is not constant within vicinity of the point because as you as your latitude increases with increase in latitude the scale is expanding in north south direction whereas east west direction it is remaining constant so you have to do something to make it orthomorphic the scale is not constant on the pure cylindrical projection that's why the directions are not correctly shown and we have to do something to make it orthomorphic what is the problem with this projection the scale is expanding because the sheet as you put a cylinder it goes away from the earth surface and the scale expands okay so you have to do something to make it orthomorphic okay now let's see what we do at equator the sheet is touching and this sheet is going away from the surface it is something like this if you visualize this is earth surface till equator and that's how is the sheet correct the area which you are projecting is like this now if you look at those lines parallel of latitude and when you are trying to get the projection the scale is expanding it is a pure geometrical concept now the geometrical concept is that this is the tangent okay and this is the circle a tangent goes away from the point it is touching okay from the center at the rate of secant of this angle whatever this angle is 0 10 20 30 40 it is something like your latitude if you look at the earth because maximum latitude how much they go on earth 90 degree correct whatever this will go maximum latitude will be what 90 degree north so the sheet is going at the same rate the relationship between circumference and the tangent the tangent goes away at the rate of secant of latitude and that's how the scale is expanding in north south direction that is the mathematical relationship okay so now we use this simple geometrical knowledge to make it orthomorphic so that we can use it for navigation what is my idea i should be able to use it for navigation so what we do in this is let's say same chart everything remains same which we have drawn so that's how this parallel of latitudes are so they are going away at what rate secant of latitude basically if i take only portion of this chart the scale is expanding in this direction as the sheet is going away at the rate of secant of latitude correct the weight is expanding in north south direction i expand it in a east west direction okay because i know how much this is increased so what i do i increase at the same ratio in that is secant of latitude in east west direction also have you understood and that we do mathematically you take a pure cylindrical projection and i know what is the relationship how these latitudes are going away okay and a sheet like i said it is a geometry it is no rocket science or something in the circle 
the relationship between circumference and tangent is that this distance will increase at the rate of secant of latitude okay and that the scale which is expanding in north south direction it is at the secant of latitude since it expands in north south direction okay i create a software or simply manually i start increasing in east west direction also now you look at within this sheet within this sheet what about the scale it is constant now correct within this sheet in this latitude let's say 10 degree 20 degree between 20 to 30 degree you can use this between 10 to 20 degree you can use this sheet similarly the scale is constant even if you look at the direction which you wanted should be correctly shown this is 045 045 only thing the difference is what 100 nautical mile was shown by this much chart length now it will be shown by a bigger chart length okay here it will be shown by even bigger but within this sheet the scale is correct when you do this mathematical modification okay this is referred as mercator projection which we have seen in the scale so in the mark on mercator projection the 100 nautical mile chart length which was shown by this much now what is happening you need to use bigger and bigger scale to measure the same distance if you want to measure in this chart you need this much scale to measure here you require this much here you require so scale at a latitude is equal to scale at equator okay and varies as secant of latitude i told you when we were doing a scale question only for solving scale question to use your calculator intelligently we do one by cos of latitude but that's not the way the scale vary that is just a intelligent use of calculator you can solve with the secant also but you have to go to the inverse function and then you have to do all those things so reduce that workload when we solve those in fact if you remember i told you in fact i wrote here only for solving scale question we will use one by but scale doesn't vary it varies as secant of latitude why secant of latitude is i told you because geometrically the tangent goes away from circumference at a secant of this theta which is in our case it is latitude now it becomes orthomorphic projection within that latitude you can paste sheet in this direction but not these two sheets but within this sheet you can navigate whichever latitude you want you pull out that sheet and you can use it for navigation rest all properties remain same okay is this is your rum line and grid circles is same there is no difference so everything is same point of tangency is equator light source is also same it is a cylindrical projection in which we carry out mathematical modifications to make it orthomorphic what mathematical modifications are we are doing the way the scale is changing in north south direction we are doing it in east west direction wonderful and you can use it for navigation okay sailors and in many places with mercator innovation we don't use this in fact earlier the meteorological chart which was used they used to be mercator projection okay clear on this properties are same so in the next class we will see conical projection till that stay tuned this is your captain surinder singh